All right, uh, yesterday we played our famous game, 10 to 1 Dating with Monique, who was a single mom, and her two daughters, uh, Yasmin and Ashanti, uh, came on the show with her. Take a look. Marco has been on every single one of these segments <laughs> we have ever had. All right, first question. When it comes to little white lies... Small lies definitely lead to bigger lies, I know from experience. The guys that answered, uh, what you don't know won't kill you, you have to go. That's numbers five and four. <laughs> when it comes to Valentine's Day, do you believe it's a romantic holiday or a waste of money? Any holiday is not a waste of money. You're making a woman happy. <laughs> that means the guys who answered waste of money, you are out. That's number nine and ten. Uh, when it comes to facial hair, are you a baby face or a stash is where it's at? Stash is where it's at. <laughs> we'll see you later, number six and Thank number you. seven. Do you want a guy who is planning for retirement or one who feels you only live once? Spend it. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely retirement. Well, that means the guy that answered only live once is out. Number two, that's you. You're gone. Monique, you're absolutely gorgeous. Thank However, Shanti, I'm also 22. <laughs> Marco, you are the worst. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you. It's getting me delayed. All right, we're down to the final two. You got to choose a guy. You want me to tell you who I think it is? I, that's what you thought right there. Yes. I, I noticed. How'd you know that? Because this is what I do. <laughs> What's it going to be, Monique? I think I'm going to go with number three. Number three, come on over. <laughs> well. We sent uh, Monique and her date, bachelor number three, Drew, to the fabulous uh, Nick and Steph Steakhouse after the show, and they're back to tell us how it went. Okay, girls, from your vantage point, what went right on the date? Well, to start the date, he um, blessed the food, so that was good. They were pretty talkative, too, so I think it went pretty well. Monique, would you agree? I agree, yes. I think he was very gentlemanly. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate that. Okay. I think he's an overall nice guy. Drew, what, what, what went right for you on this date? You know what? It's, it was refreshing to go out with, a, like, a classy woman, because a lot of times, especially out here in, like, L.A. and Dayton, you go out, a woman shows up, she, like, sweatpants and what she wore during the day, she came out looking stunning. That was a good look for me. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Drew, you said that was one snafu on the date. What is it? It's just, it's the, the distance. We're a little bit far. About how far away do you live? An hour without traffic, so... An hour? Yeah. <laughs> what is your ass talking about an hour for? <laughs> Listen to me, man. What are y'all talking about? You find the right one, what you worrying about an hour for? <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> Was that is, that, is that hour, is that an issue for you, Monique? Well, I think it's quite far, but um, I believe the man would be doing most of the traveling. So <laughs> he would have to come to me, so. So ain't no sweat off your back. I, that mean. Get to well, driving, that, homie. That's, that's his job, so. <laughs> so, Monique, how did the date end? Well, it ended on a good note. Uh, like I said, he was very gentlemanly. Um, you know, it started off with the prayer, and at the end, you know, um, he carried my doggy bag out and, you know, opened the car doors and, you know. So he's a Things of that nature, yes. He's an all-around good guy. Well, Monique, this is what it's down to. You can either go on a second date with Drew or you can choose the other guy that you didn't pick who was bachelor number one, Chris. Now, he's backstage. Uh, Chris, why, why should Monique pick you? Oh, Steve. <laughs> Now, now, this, this big daddy love train only pull up one time. So she ain't got a chance with me, man. It's over. <laughs> I respectfully decline any other dates with her. Are you crazy? Well, what is your ass here for? <laughs> what the hell did you put that T-shirt on and go, oh, you only get one time hey, Steve, Steve, this train Steve, pull up. Now, I hear you, and I, and I respect that. And I, I know she's a beautiful young lady. See, I know And I look like I had a great time. Oh, I know what this but is. But I have to just I say, know hey, what this, this is. This love train oh. only pull up one time. Yeah, this love train only pull up gone. one time. Yeah, that's a defense mechanism. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I know exactly what that is. And let me tell y'all something. I've been a man a long time. 
If we figure we ain't, we'll create our own dignity. <laughs> well, she didn't say she wanted to go out with you, so let's just back it up for a second. Thank Monique, uh, what's it gonna be? Would you take another date with Drew or go out with a midnight train to Georgia? <laughs> Well, um, it looks like Midnight Train to Georgia has already left, so. <laughs> Drew's a nice guy. Yes, I, I, I wouldn't mind going out with him again. <laughs> well, this is what I'm gonna do. Go out with Drew, let me know how it works. If it don't work out, you let me know, and I'm gonna just pick three of the top guys I can find, and then I'm gonna send you out with them. <laughs> so, Drew, Drew. You got to put on the show, man. Yeah, okay. You got to go to work. Hey, a special thanks to my friends over at Nick and Steph's Incredible Steakhouse for hosting Monique and Drew. I uh, wish you all the best of luck. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah.